Well, greetings, hello, and welcome. It's our 22nd episode of Imperial Jedi, and another loaded one on the docket for today. So it's finally time. It's the Industrial Revolution. We've been talking about this almost since we started laying down the industry in the city. Today's the day. So our goal, as ambitious as it might be, is to remove basically this industrial pocket, and we want to start pushing down with some uh, mixed use over here. We'll start with residential, and then we're going to actually do a giant expansion down along here and basically replace the industrial. We're going to put in some specialized industry, and if everything goes to plan, by the end of the episode, we should have our very first factory. So we'll try doing some supply chain management, and we're going to try and level up um, one of the forestry zones. So it'll be really cool, very ambitious. I don't know if we can even do it in the episode, but I'm hoping. And uh, we're kind of teetering on the verge of a death wave, so time is ticking. But I do want to unlock this square right here, and I want to throw in a whole new national highway. Nothing too crazy, but just kind of like a small extension over here, which will help when we do our farming and uh, when we do our small town over here. So just so much on the go. And I don't think we're going to get all that done before we do our cinematic, and I'm pretty sure like no matter where we end up, um, I think next episode should be the cinematic. So we'll do as much as we can. Um, there's going to be pockets of the city, so that aren't going to be developed, so don't, don't, you know, don't hold the games. But I'll try to make the cinematic as, like, fun as possible. And we'll do, like, day-night stuff. We'll show off some cool areas of the city. And I think I was saying last episode, if we do a few of those, you know, frequently, we can make a little playlist of the, um, of those episodes. And it'd be kind of cool to see, like, the progression of the city that way. Okay, well, where do we begin? Well, let's first start by doing just a little bit of, um, road layout over here. And guys, I've had a lot of questions and, um, you know, comments about the, uh, the curved road tool. Funny enough... I actually forgot how good it is. So when I first started playing the game many, many moons ago, I was using pretty much nothing but this thing. And I literally forgot how good it is for um, uh, angles. But yeah, I just was using it so frequently that people in the comments were like, oh, do you mind trying the freeform, right, the other one? And I just got into the habit of using this for like forever and ever. So I almost forgot how good the, um, the curved one is. I use that all the time for like, you know, roundabouts and stuff, right? But I, I found like with the curved road, road tool back in the day, I was trying to make things like way too symmetrical, and it was like getting in the way of progress, I guess. So I just switched over and just kind of never looked back. But I'll try to incorporate it a little bit more often, especially when I'm doing my like bizarro angles that never seem to line up. I just I just keep, keep forgetting how good the uh, curve rule tool is because I don't use it that often anymore. Anyway, just a little random tidbit. Okay, so let's do some of the framework here. Yeah, I'm thinking like not a lot of symmetry, but at the same time, I wouldn't mind trying to follow to a certain extent, the um, uh, the curve of the rail through here. And we're possibly going to have a few stop signs um, or uh, traffic lights along this um, little stretch right here. And then the goal, yeah, we buy this tile. We'll connect up through here because we actually can't get to the highway itself unless we buy more tiles. And I don't think that was the plan until we get more um, mods introduced later. Um, but yeah, the, we'll uh, basically do an extension through this. And we're going to create this kind of like an American interstate kind of change happening through here where we're switching from one highway, taking a smaller version of a highway kind of like leading elsewhere. But there's a small section that will be, um, you know, commercialized slash like small towns, right? Not too uncommon. So that means we'll keep this as, um, you know, zonable with traffic lights and stuff. We'll just move this guy out of the way and then we'll carry on through here with uh, just an extension of this. And we can do a really fun cross-junction into this piece right here. That's a little dangerous. Maybe the um, intersections are a little close together. We'll, we'll monitor this. That might have been an accident um, that could come back to haunt us. But yeah, theoretically, we just jump up over the rail, you know, make a bridge, and then just cross on over. And that'll give us a chance to, you know, put in some more forestry industry eventually. We can find some um, mining and oil. You can see we got some resource patches in here. And then, yeah, farming will kind of be the boundary between the small town and then our big city. So it'll all be really cool when it's uh, said and done here. Anyway, time is a factor. What am I doing? I gotta start building. Goodness gracious me. Okay, let's do um, our bridge over here. And it's just like interconnectivity. You know, I don't really want any bottlenecks. We'll try to get as many... Um, of these little like zones happening as possible where we get like stretches of uh, bridges and roads and tunnels it's kind of connecting everything up okay it's not too steep perfect yeah so that that can be a traffic light in my mind right and then leading up to it we might even put in an asymmetrical road system to help us with the uh, the turning so we can do that on one side and then that on the other
And that'll just give us basically a dedicated turning lane. Cool. So that'll help a little bit with traffic. Um, not really symmetrical with the rest of the city, but that's A-OK. -okay. As we get to the outskirts, that doesn't really bug me as much. And let's do a, a slight bridge over here. And I'd say that that spot there, where it slightly dips, is actually pretty uh, perfect for that. I don't have to do any terraforming. Okay, so straight, and then bridge. And I'm using the industrial roads out here, because they give like a nice old-time kind of like feel and vibe. Maybe not as much maintenance um, out here, too. Different maintenance budget than, say, like the city. You know what? That's a little bit too long of a bridge, realistically. So why don't we just get down to ground level about there. We'll have these guys link up. So I'll use the curve road tool here. I literally forgot how good it was, like, you know, when you're doing these things. I forgot that it did the angle perfectly for you. So, like, forgive me, guys. I know some of you are, like, going crazy in the comments. So I appreciate it. appreciate the push. I really wouldn't have tuned back to this unless I had so many of you commenting on it. So old dogs can learn new tricks, apparently, right? Yeah, that's kind of like the idea I'm going for. We're like following the curve of the coast gently. We've got a little bit of flow in the, the rail through here as well. And I'm not quite sure how we'll do it yet, but I think we might have one more connection go through. But let's get a bit more of the um, uh, infrastructure in here first. We can probably sneak a cargo rail station in as well. Man, this is going to be awesome. Okay. So I want to get a little bit more traffic flow in here. The custom industrial zones do actually make a lot of traffic, all things considering. Okay, we got lucky and managed to get that in the nice part of the curve, so I'll keep that. And then what we're going to want to do now is just start scaling the roads down. And so I might even go a bit further with that, yeah. Again, just kind of following gently the curve of the uh, the rail through here. And all we're doing is creating a few turnaround points for some of our um, trucks to be able to kind of like access everywhere, you know? Oh, that's going to be a challenge. Um, let's push a bit more of the terrain out of the way so we can get one road through here. Bonus points if we can get two roads, actually. And variety and terrain will make the industrial area feel and look pretty cool too. That kind of gives us a chance to, like, you know, do some cool stuff with the roads as well, like that. If the pillars want to cooperate, oh man, okay. Um, I do actually like how that pillar configuration looks, so let's try and work with it. Yeah, we can definitely get that going. Yeah, you sure said them done. Cool. Not too shabby. And then we'll just double check visually here that the terrain's not too uh, too wacky. I wouldn't mind smoothing that out just ever so slightly so the rail looks a little bit better. So let's um, right click. Sorry, uh, right yeah, right click and then left click drag. I'm getting better at remembering that one too. And that's just to kind of make a little uh, smooth slope right there. Okay, now let's attach some um, dirt roads to this, because that's always fun to use. So in this part here, it's a little bit more built up. I think we'd have the paved roads, and we might have one dirt road that also sneaks underneath here, if we can get the height right. Bring that down slightly and then expand on it. And I'll show you something cool. So I do actually want some um, just like little small areas to get some extra zoning in. And if you've never like used the Industries DLC, maybe you've got it, you don't really utilize it all that often, I'll show you some cool stuff we can do. And then, you know, if you're looking to grab it, just like, you know, put it on your wish list. Grab it when it goes on sale. Definitely no, uh, no problem, and there's still so much value if you buy stuff at full price. But I think at this point, just given that the game's been out for, for so many years, like, wait for a sale. They happen pretty, uh, pretty frequently these days. If you're impulsive, I totally get it. Totally get it. I make that too sometimes, but... Yeah, if you're looking uh, to stretch those dollars, definitely wait for a, uh, a sale and you'll be as pleased as punch. Okay, Industries DLC is basically like kind of a take on um, just the generic uh, zoning, uh, you know, industrial approach you have now and taking it to the next level. So we'll be making like much, much, much bigger zones 
Um, farming for me is probably the one that like sells it the most. And then on top of all that, we'll be doing uh, more supply chain management. So it's a little bit more like depth than uh, complexity to the game, which is kind of cool. All right, so just kind of like a little web over here, some paved, unpaved roads. And then we're going to be creating a um, industrial zone. And we do that with kind of like a district tool. And so we'll paint this as a uh, forest um, uh, specialized industrial zone, forestry. And it basically remains unspecialized until we put down whatever marker building we want. So we got um, trash, trees, forestry, you know, mining and stuff. And so we want to switch over, we want to put down the main building for forestry. And that'll then make this zone here into a forestry zone. Cool. So at level one, you can even see on the top left here, this is basically how it's going to work. We're going to have some extractors, going to processors, going to factories, going to commercial zones. And this is just like step one of that chain right here. So a sawmill can cut down some trees and we can store the logs basically. So let's get a little bit of that working right here. And then we're going to want to get this as quickly as possible to level two. And the way we do that is by getting more um, workers and uh, production in here. And so this is where the challenge kind of comes in. Like we're on the outskirts of the city. There's not a lot of people living nearby. Like how do we get people over here to get us to the next level? So let's spread some of the stuff out. The traffic will, I, I think, stabilize hopefully. But in the beginning, it's going to be a little bit crazy through here. So let's try and um, we'll try and do our best. So these guys here, the sawmills, they employ a lot of people. So I want to use a few of these. And the, um, the tree growing zones are going to feed directly into these guys here. And then we're going to use um, warehouses and some of these open air lots to store the, um, uh, the raw goods and then the goods that they're producing. And then, you know, nothing's really set in stone. We can move a lot of stuff around. We're just going for like what feels like a cool, just functional layout to start. Not too bad. Okay, let's get the services and whatnot in here. And of course, because of, you know, because it's us, we have definitely got to get some um, fire coverage like ASAP over here. Otherwise, good golly. And this is also going to be where we're going to have the base of operations for our um, uh, helicopter fighters, firefighters. Okay, so just about covering everything here. Cool. And as far as power goes, I might just um, put a power producer over here for the moment. I like these geothermal guys a lot. We have an abundance of power within the city itself, so I'm not really worried about connecting this up for the moment, but obviously it will. Just for the moment, let's just get this all powered and, and making sense. Pretty steep coast here, so we have to be careful. But yeah, not too bad of a start. And so these buildings here, we can change over, right? If we want alder trees, we can, you know, change them around. Depending on the type of map you have, that will, uh, you know, determine the trees you got to, to use. But variety spice of life, so we like that. And then they'll kind of, like, work we with the vanilla trees. So whatever your, like, map theme is, it should have trees that kind of correspond with that, right? So it's easy, theoretically, if you want to um, try and blend these. So you just find like the same type of tree, go to the outskirts, that's not the same type of tree. Um, yeah, right, and you just kind of blend. So it doesn't have to be like wall to wall, but it just kind of looks a little bit more natural. And so I do realize guys, this mouse is a little bit louder than the last one. So apologize for that click and gets on your, on your nerves. Not really, I don't have the right noise gate stuff, and I'm gonna be getting, I think, a new microphone audio stuff like soon, soon TM. I'm trying to save up for like improvements for like, you know, both the stream and for like YouTube content. I really am trying to like up the pro productivity or no, nope, I'm, I'm trying to up the, um, pro wait, what's we're looking for here? The product value, you know what I mean? Production value, production value. Good Lord, that's the one. I'm trying to up production value. I really want, I want this to be better. And I'm not saying it's like holding me back from like doing more stuff. I just know that it might be worth it to kind of wait a little bit, you know, before I start doing a lot of new series and stuff, even though I've got a whole bunch of things planned. So I'm just trying to like juggle it all and like figure out what I want here. And it's weird that we're talking about this like, you know, 22 episodes into some random Let's Play series, but sometimes I have these like random running trains of thoughts I like to share with you guys. Okay. But yeah, just, it is onward and upward just with the whole operation. And I think we're getting to a point now where things are starting to uh, to really come together. Oopsies. So these fire watch towers are gonna help with our um, uh, forest fire coverage. And then we're gonna have a, a helicopter that works um, works along with them. So we'll put down the fire uh, helicopter depot just near this. Looks kind of cool together. 
And these guys should be near a body of water because they're going to dispatch a helicopter that's going to scoop up a bucket of water and then head off to the um, the problem. And of course, knowing us, right? The problem will probably be over here. So it's good to have this in this spot. And then to keep our workers happy and healthy and safe, let's put down some other services through here. And then just for um, coverage purposes, we can switch this. Oh, I see, maybe not. That's interesting, just because of the way the um, intersection came in. Yeah, we'll just leave it be. Um, we're not able, unfortunately, to get full um, side to side, unless I do, eh, maybe this will work. Poor little friend here is cut off though. Okay, one in doubt. Um, Round about? No, run in doubt, just uh, improvised, there we go. Okay, so the back area is already starting to work, that's really cool. And um, at this point here, just to kind of help get more workers into this spot, let's start unzoning the industrial zone. So we're going to do just a big blanket unzone of this, and we're going to double check that the power lines here aren't going to give us a problem. So as long as we're still connected another way over. Yep, looks like we are. Just up and through here. Last thing we want to do is just kind of cut off sections of the city, because we might not notice it initially, and then everyone's going to like, you know, unzone and move out. And we're just so close to 26,000, we can do it! Alright, so just to make things different through here, we're going to have more of like a residential focus in this part of the city now. I'm going to do a slight, slight, slight uh, change to the roads. Oh, actually, um, hold the phone, hold the phone. What if we were doing something cute like a bridge over this? What's our spacing? It's 820. Oh, yeah, 820. Because, yeah, over here, um, I feel like it's going to bottleneck slightly. Run a lot of ways in and out. So let's get traffic moving around. Um, keep that as like a priority road in without too many connections. Oh, that worked. Look at that. Huh. How about them apples? Symmetry when we didn't even know we needed it. And then for like the ways in and out, just to get the extra lane, let's do um, asymmetrical. Without making the streets any wider, we're um, getting more traffic through, which is good. And then this one should be a traffic lane. Cool. And then with a pedestrian walking mentality in mind here, we can put down some walking paths. Just make sure we're connecting all up through here. And then I'm just kind of be a little bit aggressive right now with the uh, the zoning, but I'm going to do wall to wall. And I'm not like going to keep it 100%. I think we'll probably come back here and maybe change part of this around. But for the moment, just because we're so close to 26,000. And we are on like the verge of a death wave here too, so. But sticking with that mentality from before, where we don't really want to cut off the entire area here view-wise, we'll do some um, mixed, um, mixed zoning. And then when we unlock the population milestone, we'll come back, of course, with detailing. Same old song and dance. I've been saying that since the dawn of time, you know. But really going forward, once more of the city is built, we will be revisiting a lot of the uh, sections to, um, you know, rejuvenate, revitalize, transform, decorate, whatever you want to say, right? We'll kind of come back. But let's unlock some more milestones, get some bigger pieces of the city done, get some um, cinematics done, too. Okay, also unload that. And we'll just um, we'll throw down a park for these guys over here. Okay, now just really quickly, I think we just need to add a school over here, and then we'll leave everything else um, uh, as it is. Okay, so that's new people coming in. That's uh, help with our uh, demand. And you can see the industrial demand going up now that we've unzoned part of this. And that's in an effort basically to get the workers now moving over to here. And for us to unlock this, we just gotta basically hit 150 um, Oh, did we already do level two? No, not yet. No, no, not yet. More production. We have workers we did meet. Whoa, this is a great capital city. All right, perfect. So the big things, highlights for this, right? We can now do a harbor, we have shipping, and we can do the university campus area that we were hoping to make across the river. So some big stuff. Um, stadium for the waterfront too, American football. Oh yeah, this is great. And a new tile. It's all coming up Millhouse right now. So we buy this one. 
which allows us to get the uh, national road through. Let's get a smidgen more production. So this can kind of just run in the background and then we'll extend the national road and then continue with the zoning. And then just cross our fingers even further that we'll um, just kind of knock out what we're uh, planning on getting here. You know, maybe one more tree zone. We just need a little bit more being produced. And when I say one, I mean two. Probably scale back some of this. We don't have the world of room, and we're gonna have to start putting in some more, like, you know, factory style buildings. Might have to sneak up the coast a little bit more with that. Okay, I will put it on three speed now just to hopefully get this uh, quickly to the next level. And let's just um, push on through with our national road. And then, yeah, just like a really simple um, just bridge over here. Oops. And then just curve on in. Let us try to make that. Oh, gosh. Like, uh, ooh, how do we do this? Okay, I think this one's got to go straight for a smidgen, and then up. Hi, I'm Greg, owner and, founder. and then we'll make those two uh, just curve into each other. Yeah, that's not so bad. Yeah, okay, you know what? I'm going to get rid of that. After seeing that uh, truck do that, that's definitely not going to be um, an isolated event. That will happen a lot. Okay, so just extra lane through here. Actually going towards the uh, that guy, and then we'll uh, actually no, we'll just put put it the whole way through, and just get one more traffic light through here. Cool. So we can already see people using it. That's great. That'll help provide a little bit of um, easement to the traffic on this. Not that that's bad or anything, but just you know, get away from the bottleneck effect always. Back way in. Industry is getting used. Fantastic. All right, so what can we do to get some more people over here? We're getting really close. Definitely getting close. Workers are holding on. We do want some more, though. And production is pretty... We're so close, you know? All right. Maybe if we bring a little bus route in through here. Okay, so if we head over to basically a hub, where we've got the metro, the train, some other buses coming, put a new line in, and it's basically create an express that goes... Um, maybe drops you off over here for some work. Maybe drops you off here if you work over in this spot. And then just in that back. And then, you know, maybe you'd walk. Keep the buses off the dirt roads. Maybe cut back a little bit on the... Oh, perfect! That's exactly what we were looking for. Furniture factory. That's great. Um, yeah, and then just head on maybe this way. Just a really quick little express route. And we'll probably add some more stops um, uh, when necessary. And we'll make this a fun green just for, um, for the forest vibes. Darker. All right, so public transit, we've gone up in the level, which is really quick. That's actually great. Um, oh, some saplings. These are cute. Okay, we're getting a default greenhouse, which we can switch to field. Let's do greenhouse. Greenhouse looks cuter. We might have an abundance of producers here, so um, we have to take back one of the fields. And then the biomass pellet plant can start creating paper, and we're gonna need planks, um, sorry, uh, the planed wood plus the uh, the timber for um, for our factory to uh, to function. Yeah, so I might just get rid of one of these guys here, which is a okay, and yeah, that'll be great right there. Push that slightly over just for the sake of the. Um, uh, the world will come to me. The terraforming? Just in that corner there, yep. And then let's just hide all the uh, ground imperfections with some trees through here, which will look really nice. Give more of a vibe to the uh, forestry zone, you know? Okay, so we got some paper being produced, which is awesome. We want the sawdust collector as well, great. couple of these in place cool and then now that we're producing stuff let's get some of the warehouses down so 
So let's put a warehouse over here, accessible from both sides of the street. And this one's going to be for the plain timber. And the plain timber is being made at the sawmills. So it's close by, we're going to store the excess. We can import and export this kind of stuff too. So we'll be hopefully adding to the budget. And then we'll put a small warehouse down that's got a roof covering. And this can be where we store our paper products. So that's what we're making so far in this zone right here. Um, paper and plain timber, and we've got ways to store all of it. This is cool, both the raw resources plus the made stuff. And then the plan was to start scaling back over here. Just so it's a bit more of like a gentrified kind of like mixed use area over here. So we get rid of the industry. Let me get rid of some of these roads too. Oh, was that a, um... oh goodness, I needed that one, eh? Oopsies. Sorry, buses. Get rid of that one. But yeah, I wanted some um, long, narrow corridors so we can throw in um, one of these guys here. And the first one we unlocked was our uh, furniture factory. And that's actually not a bad uh, size given the space right here. Uh, terraforming wise, we could use a bit of a bump, or if we put the entrance on um, the other side of the street. No, let's um, let's terraform here. It's getting expensive to move it, so we can hope for the best here. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I may have to put that a little bit further down. Yeah. Okay. That's that's all right. So what I'm gonna do is just terraform this to be nice and flat. And we're going to just put it on the other side, closer to the uh, the rail here. And I don't think that was enough space, actually. We have to not have the... Um... Oh, no! So close! Not quite, though, eh? Theoretically, over here it could fit, though. Is this one of those moments where it's like poor playing has led to poor results? No, we're okay, we're okay. Yeah, so that's better. The parking lot doesn't look too wacky. Ideally, we, um, yeah, ideally we terraform this a little bit. Just doesn't look too insane. And the industry is whatever, we're gonna lose part of it anyway, right? So, I don't mind. Oh, is this, oh my goodness, it's literally one thing after another right here, isn't it, eh? See that part that's sticking up? I think that's from the uh, metro. Um, let's see if we can get that a little bit flatter, though. No, no, we're okay. We're okay. I'll take it back. I take it back. There. That way, you see a little bit more of the building. And then I'm always a fan of having um, just kind of like tiered um, kind of like buildings going towards the, um, the coast like that. Okay, I think I messed that up slightly, but that might look better. Oh god, what have you done? It's almost like that part there doesn't want to cooperate. Okay. A little over the place. We're, we're getting back on track here. Yeah, there we go. And then let's unzone more of this. And maybe we'll just keep this small section here as industry. And then the rest can be kind of like a mixed zone here. Might be a little bit early to introduce the people to this section, but just give it a try anyway. Okay. Yeah, we effectively have just kind of like scaled back almost 100% our um, yellow zone industry. So we still want to have some of that around. And I was promising you guys something cool over here. So what we're going to do is a district that overlaps this one. So we have the industrial district, plus we have a regular district. And the industrial one comes from the industries DLC. And this is, of course, just our regular specialization. And we're going to click on forestry. And we're going to use the two of them together. It looks really cool. So now we can start filling these areas in with some non-polluting um, industry. Forestry industry is renewable, which is cool. And the buildings that spawn will have like a forestry feel to them. So it'll be like, you know, appropriate stuff. 
And it's a really cool thing to do for like filler. And this is gonna replace the jobs that we just got rid of. So hopefully everything should be uh, what we're after here. And then I do like, uh, you know, especially on the, the paved roads here, maybe just a few administrative style buildings. And then while you're over here, like, you know, gas station, a little bit of shopping, that kind of stuff, right? Not for the sake of like retail, but you know, just while you're here for like lunch or something. So we've got a bus for people to get in and out. We've got a small expansion and we've got two types of overlapping industry, which is really cool, I think. And then now what we can do is put down one more little yard over here. And this one can be for, if we go all the way to the bottom here, zone industry, but it's forestry products. And so all the yellow industry that we just placed, uh, placed that'll be um, putting all their excess stuff over there, which will eventually go to commercial zones. So there you go, it's functional, it looks cool, it's a mix of like the road types. I like that a lot. Industry, the industrial revolution, finally coming to our city. All right, how's the rest of the city looking? Is this thing empty yet? Not quite. So when that empties, we'll get rid of it. We'll start pushing over more of the um, uh, the waterworks, that kind of stuff. And then we gotta, I think, maybe add some more, um, we need to add the transit, or what do we do with this? No, transit's still pretty good. Yep, our buses are still good. Okay, well, let's do a little bit more expansion with, um, with the industry then, since we've got a little bit of time left. So what I'd like is a little bit more connectivity now between the harbor area and up here. And I wouldn't mind trying to get a, um, a very small cargo system working. And that's just going to be kind of like us laying the foundation for us to like, you know, revisit that for, um, yeah, for a future episode. So yeah, let's do that. Let's come through here with the tunnel. Do a little bit of a slalom through here. Make our way back up. So now, um, when we do add a harbor, get some boats coming in and out, it'll be easier for them to get um, goods being produced here, down there, without having to initially drive through um, this whole spot, right? Okay, and then just a small, yeah, small cargo. I have some really, really, really cool stuff planned for um, for the long haul when it comes to uh, cargo. No, no pun intended there, I just realized that. Sometimes I do those, but that one was a good one. Yeah, we're going to be basically doing an internal um, and external like cargo system. And I think we're going to dedicate like a couple episodes to that. So not all of it today, basically. And I'm just doing uh, a very simple turnaround point here for our um, our trucks. And then one of my favorite things to do, just a little bit of a spoiler for our um, cargo stuff, is I really like using um, one-way networks to loop in and out of our um, uh, cargo hubs. And it helps tremendously, I think, with um, uh, the traffic. Okay, so not quite the terraforming. This is not our not our not our forte today. That's a lot better. Try to make it as flat as possible so the poor cargo trains don't have to feel like they're on a roller coaster. And then us doing this little one-way approach is going to kind of add like some extra width to the corridor here, which is really cool, I think. Um, it's going to force train traffic to be a little bit smart, so we're not going to have like hopefully too bad of a backlog of um, trains hanging out here. And it's going to help us when we start doing the internal and external cargo um, links, but just for the moment to get goods moving in a different way. Not that we really need it, but I'm going to use this as a way to get like power a little bit closer. And just double checking we're still inside the zones, which we are, that's great. And then we want just a turnaround point here, so vehicles that are trying to get to the station have a quick way to either return back to work or the highway. Okay, so presumably we should get at least one more building popping in through here. Please and thank you. No, industry's had enough. Come on, you can do it. Oh, for goodness sakes. I have faith in the system, but I'm not moving until that comes in. Anyway, so we can take a look at the traffic while we're sitting here being stubborn. Was that what we needed? No, okay, there it goes, there it goes, finally. Yeah, so traffic's looking pretty good. Um, what we'll do is probably have a way for the cargo trains to go around and then loop again. 
but they can possibly use all this. Um, might need to rethink that a little bit there. And then I do eventually want this to like, you know, make its way up into there. But yeah, for the moment, pretty cool. And then let's do some actual regular um, yellow zoning industry over here to replace what we uh, got rid of. Alright, this has been a fantastic episode. I'm really, really, really pleased. I actually did not think we were going to get as much done as we did. And I, I just feel like we, you know, even though we spent 35 minutes, I feel like this has only been like five minutes, right? I feel like I'm struggling to like end here. What else do we do? No, let's go, um, let's go start to finish here. Let's take a look at things, right? So the um, little interchange expansion here, interstate, whatever you want to call it, working quite well. And it does breathe a little bit more life into the spot here. And I think we might uh, justify then getting a cargo train station in here when we start putting the uh, the links together. And this gives us opportunity now, like I was saying before, to like, you know, push in, get some um, more industry, specialized industry, we can get a um, uh, forestry district going, some mining. And then this will lead into the small town. And we'll keep this nice, big, vibrant countryside. And that just organically looks great. It just kind of popped out of nowhere. And it seems to fit the area really, really well. And it's okay that we're not getting 100% um, use of the uh, edge right here just yet. Leaves us open for some expansion when we do buy some uh, some more tiles. Yeah, I think just to wrap things up, oh yeah, we did zone this too quickly. Too much pollution still here. Yeah, okay. Should be fine now, but I, I did zone that a little bit more, uh, a little bit too suddenly. All right, well, just a little bit more improvements, guys, and then I guess we'll wrap it up. So let's encase these guys here with some um, offices for the sound barrier's sake. Let's get a little bit more high density zoning in this spot here. And I wouldn't mind just doing a little bit of casual zoning just um, in other parts of the city. No, nope, don't want to zone that. I just wouldn't mind like a little bit more um, population in some spots, you know? Mm-hmm. And then maybe just a little bit more high density in through here. That might help the small town vibe. Alright, well I think besides that, I think that's what I was going for. I just feel like I needed an extra five minutes here, so in my mind I was like, we'll probably get to 40 minutes, but I don't think we have to. I think I got what I want here. Things are good. Yeah, let's uh let's wrap her up, my friends. But yeah, definitely a great improvement to the city. Um, wonderful to see the Industrial Revolution start taking place. Residential in uh, the spot where the industry used to be. Industry starting to make its way up the coast. Cleaning up the, uh, yeah, clean up the shoreline. And then traffic, you can see, like, it never really got to the point where it did, like, affect us too much, which is great. And so we can probably keep this interchange as it is. But I am slightly tempted to maybe make a dumbbell interchange out of this and then change how the tram goes through. Now that we've got a little more room on our hands. Anyway, onwards and upwards. But yeah, let's uh, let's wrap things up here. I don't know why this suddenly feels like the goodbye has to draw on, but guys, thank you so much. It's been great. Hope you like this. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I'm pretty sure next episode um, we'll just do some cinematics. Why the heck not? We'll have some open parts in the city, but we'll make our we'll make best make do. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Why is it so hard to say goodbye? Always. I just feel like that's it. You know? I don't know. Anyway, guys, I'm weird today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Let me know what you think of all this. And um, yeah, the cinematic should be a lot of fun. All right, guys, take care of yourselves and uh, see you in the next one. Happy building. All the best. Mm -hmm.